Send it back out now to Storm Team 44 Meteorologist Gunnar Console. He's tracking the latest. Gunner, I understand there are some pop-up showers that we're eyeing on the horizon. Yeah, so right now we're looking out towards our west, and there's some of those scattered showers that I was talking about that we have in store for tonight. So right now they're mostly impacting areas east of the Wabash or in or west of the Wabash and portions of the bluegrass just on the cusp of it. So right now Paducah getting some of those showers. But if we put things in motion, we'll be able to show you the motion of things, they're heading straight to the north. So right now we're monitoring those showers pushing in through and getting closer to Harrisburg. So right now, just some light rain pushing through. Same deal in Galatia. Out towards McQueensboro, the rain's gonna be picking up, but since it's a Saturday night, not many people are out and about anyway. So what this means for us tonight is, you know, if you sleep well to the sound of the rain, this may be the best night's sleep you've gotten in quite a while. because. We're gonna have that thunder, we're gonna have that rain, but it's not gonna be happening anytime soon for Evansville and Owensboro, especially as further east you go. It's gonna take a little while for those rain chances to really ramp up. So the next couple of hours, rain chances are very slim. And then as we go towards daybreak tomorrow, that's when our rain chances really amp themselves up and then slowly taper off through the day tomorrow. So what does that look like on the future cast? Well, let's put things in motion. So here we are right now. The future cast is actually having a pretty good idea of what's happening right now. So if the future cast looks like what's happening right now, that means that it has a good idea of what's happening. And if we look into the future, it has a good idea of what we can expect. So some pop-up showers likely, mostly on the western half of the tri-state. But as we work our way towards 6.30 in the morning, that's when we're expecting a lot more activity firing up. We're not expecting severe weather. I just mean firing up in terms of rain chances, you know, really popping up, some showers here or there. But again, rain chances aren't that widespread, aren't all that meaningful, so we're not really looking at a washout anyway. So you still can make some outdoor plans for tomorrow, maybe get some yard work done. Just keep in mind you may have to dodge some showers. But those rain chances could return a little bit later in the afternoon and the evening. So there's kind of going to be two windows for the rain. The early morning near daybreak and the evening post sunset. So keep that in mind. Maybe the afternoon may be the best time to go outdoors. But then we're talking another round of rain chances for Monday, mostly in the afternoon. Then on Tuesday, we have an impact day, not for storms, but for heat index values surpassing 100. We'll also be dealing with excessive heat on not just Tuesday, but also Wednesday, also Thursday, and also Friday. It's going to be a very toasty next week. We'll be tracking also additional rain chances each afternoon. It's gonna be very typical for the summertime where we have the heat of the day, fire up some thunderstorms with that humidity. So even though we're nearing the first day of school, it is going to be feeling a lot more like summer than it has the past few weeks. I'll be showing you those heat index values in my last check of the forecast coming up.